We're just gonna we only get to we only get a trans truck too, but the, oh, there's a trans, trans truck. Yeah. There yeah, so we'll we'll pile in the trans truck. Um, yep. Some are gonna be left out, which sucks, but oh, actually, you know what? I think that back one's gonna be left out. Um, we'll pile in. We'll just take this uh, road south out of Maine. We'll just keep going west and west and west and west all the way up to Poppy Farm. Oh, uh, depending on how the situation develops, I want who's back here with me, Bump. I want Bump Squad heading up here to Grid Farm. And I want Pony Squad reinforcing Poppy Farm proper. Because Pony might actually have to go south to help out back at Joe. Yep. Okay. And, and did I miss yeah, the Do we have those uh, two armory kits? Um, Congratulations. Well, we do have two target, so... Wandar gets a lot, and Baggage Joe gets a lot. The two extra medics. Pony gets a medic, and Bump gets a medic. So, once again, we're just gonna pull this main road all the way to Poppy Farm. Uh, bump, I'm gonna change this up a bit. Bump, you're gonna be around up here on that new near Poppy Farm itself. Be sure to be. make sure you have base up and then north of there too, because they'll probably get squirrely and run around your flanks. Question. Yeah. I assume we have picked the radio more so than the bunker. Say again? I'll assume we protect the radio more so than the bunker. Well, it, I mean, either way, they need they need the bunker, so... I don't know, I mean, I'll... Just put the bunker back, maybe... Like, right there on that new helmet mark, and then put it... Up against the wall or behind the wall or something. Like I said, it's all gonna be your discretion, I can't go out there to see what's best for it. Pony, you're gonna be staged. So, oh, Bump will be staged on the north side of the river. Pony will be staged on the south side of the river and coming up to the rear of Lawn Darts. And he will be our QRF to get to Bag of Joe. So I'm. Wait, so I'm, I'm parking myself where at the, the radio tower in G8? Um. This map in a long time. Because uh, if you want me to the river, the closest thing south of the river of the first checkpoint is there's a. Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean station in that river. I meant the, oh. the canal. The canal south of the farm. Yeah, so F73 for me and my guys. Yeah, that's probably not right. Cool. Alright, that sounds good. I'll have. Um, wait, do we have enough seats? We do have enough seats because we have two squads in the front. G71 and then drive through the police station. I'm honestly expecting the insurgents to do a multi pronged attack with like some fucking fancy maneuvering. Not fancy, but like trying to be fancy. Alright, I had to put the radio. Ready to hold this road? 
Yeah, the checkpoint is going to be just down on the road about 20 metres, and they said in the brief, the radio 50 metres away, so I'm feeling like in this little field here, maybe it's a good spot for the radio. The grab supply. All right, we're top of the voice. hour. Welcome everybody yes. to our Squad Ops One Life event. I'm your commentator for this evening, Shadowed Ritual, and today we bring to you Operation Trespass. Excuse me, Operation Operation Trespass should be a lot of fun. At its core, it is a an attack defense operation with U.S. reinforcements. Um, uh, the U.S. have two checkpoints: uh, checkpoint Apple, checkpoint Banana. Uh, north uh, and south, they're uh, sort of clearing out the, the you know, just securing Cora Valley from troops. I'll read you the situation brief, and uh, they're being attacked, need reinforcements. But before I go over into more detail on what this operation is, welcome everybody. How's it going, everybody who's uh, talking in the chat? Frederick, uh, Canadian, Neurotic, Mr. Easy, how, how is everybody? Let's go over this operation. Uh, who's participating in this operation command-wise? So for the U.S. team, we have platoon lead Dorf. Just with his squad lead bag of Joe, no, Bump, Best Pony, so and Londart. For the insurgents, we have platoon lead oh. Storm, with his squad leads XF, Axe Gaming, oh, well. Merrick, and I mean, Evan or Sam A. So for the platoon lead sides, um, Storm had originally signed up for this. Uh, they they had called Dashby in, or they or not Dashby, they called Dorf in, and they asked if he wanted to. Uh, to uh, command, so he's probably not as prepared, but they're still both very competent squad leads. But I think um, when it comes to like expecting to squad, uh, or sorry, command, um, being you know having a plan beforehand definitely helps out. So we'll see if that matters at all for squad leads. No real standouts. Best pony Londar's really good on this side. Um, pretty consistent over here. Except's pretty good. Um, so I'd actually lean squad lead wise onto the US team, but the fact that Storm has prepared for this, we'll see if it uh, matters. This is a brand new op, so there's no like preconceived or like plans that have been already done. So there's no like, well, this worked last time kind of ideas that you yeah, can do with this. This really op was created uh, the. Another line. Let's go to the bottom of the op drive, 15th of December. So, you know, a couple days ago, about two weeks. Let's uh, go over this operation. Shall we? Operation Trespass. First things first, let's read this situation brief for the U.S. Since we will be uh, on the U.S. this uh, for both rounds. I'll read the U.S. situation first. U.S. and British Command has had a solid hold on the Core Valley for months now. Recently, however, the amount of refugees moving through the valley to the east has steadily increased, and as such, Command has tasked your company with manning checkpoints in the valley to check and maintain security of the refugee movement. Signs and local police have informed the refugees that after sundown that no one is allowed to move through the valley and trespassers will be shot on sight. So, shit ton of refugees moving east through Core Valley. Um, so, the U.S. platoon, or the U.S. sends a platoon out to man two checkpoints. And they're holding the checkpoints. They're, the, the way they're, their mindset going into this is they're manning checkpoints. They're expecting contact, but they don't know contact is coming. You know, it could just be a bunch of refugees. Insurgents forces. Um, our leader wants our group to push east through the Cora Valley, hiding under the guise of refugees. The U.S., however, has set up several checkpoints uh, to check every refugee for weapons and to fingerprint, uh, fingerprint everyone passing through the valley. Our leader has asked for a small force of volunteers to attack a checkpoint. Uh, so that by morning the U.S. cannot check refugees moving through a route, uh, moving through a route, and this will allow the uh, allow the hundreds of fighters to move freely through the valley. So the insurgent forces are going to hide amongst the refugees. They're sending a platoon out to attack one of these checkpoints. They, they have to only, they only have to attack one of two, and uh, then they they have to hold that checkpoint, and uh, you know allow the rest of the refugees to stream through but the the situation as is, is it's a platoon on a platoon platoon guarding the checkpoints and platoon attacking attacking one of two checkpoints assets that they will have to uh take out or to accomplish their missions u.s assets include per squad one sl two fire team leads two automatic riflemen and one medic the platoon armory which the platoon lead can deal out as he sees fit is two 
light anti-tank kits and two extra medics so two squads are going to get one extra medic a piece or one squad may go fucking crazy and get three medics who knows um vehicle wise we've got an mrap open top one trans truck and two logistic trucks with any load which are already at the points um fob apple which is the fob on the north they're both let me double check that yeah fob apple is the one on the north uh, has a fob, a bunker, and various defensive structures. This is the checkpoint here. And fob banana at the south has a fob, a bunker in the road, and various defensive structures. Insurgent assets: one uh, per squad, one SL, two fire team leads, two automatic riflemen, and one medic. Vehicles: they get two logistic trucks with any load, and they get four motorcycles. So we'll see if they decide to use those motorcycles. They're most likely going to. I'd like to see some cool. Like, oh, they don't have any lat. I was going to see, like, a, a lat wolf pack go out. That would be super neat. Um, but we'll see what they decide to do with these. Uh, if they decide to use motorcycles, I, I assume they, they will. Um, and what they decide to do with them. They also, if they can place down the fob, uh, or if they can get one of the fobs, either north or south, apple or banana, they uh, can then make it into a bomb workshop with one ammo crate and various defensive structures. So it's a pretty simple op at its core, um, but there's a lot of counterplay and maneuvering that can go on for both teams, uh, because each squad, or each checkpoint has a squad at it, and then squads, uh, so it's squads 1 and squads 4, guarding checkpoints, apple and banana, squads 2 and squads 3 are going to start at main with the open top, the trans truck, um, they should man, be able to man, or you know, fill, fill up, uh, fully man it, and uh, there's there's a lot of options they can do. They can they can reinforce one at the north, which is lawn darts, which I I think that's their plan. Is they're going to reinforce lawn darts, and uh, they're going or they can go and reinforce four if they get attacked from the south. You can either or you can send a squad to each. I don't think that's going to work out. I think it's more. Whoops! Whoops! I got to delete. Can I get a towel then, please? Be sure. Bump. You should send some of your guys. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with this. Uh, the so some specialty rules for the INS like, or some like before live things that they can do. Um, they gotta collect their motorcycles and they can start anywhere west of the CD line. Either so anywhere west of the CD line looks like they're gonna go for checkpoint Apple Lawn Arches checkpoint. So uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, the full platoon is moving up there. I see all one, three, four, twos driving. Yep, that's the full platoon. Let's see what happens with that. Starts briefing his guys, digging, making his checkpoint a little bit better. I like this. Checkpoint is actually not really bad. It's got plenty of concealment. Got some cover with the sandbags. Uh, bag, you're, you're gonna get, you got um, you're gonna a get wall a to your back. I mean, I guess you so really can't. You gotta watch your flank you a little bit. But this isn't a bad little uh, OP but here. Not here. We're not gonna. F oh my God! Bump, 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 bump. Let's go check out some stuff on the south. What did you click to see everyone's name? A super new squad and always worried about shooting to me. Um, I'm in admin cam. So I, I have, uh, it's eight. We'll bring up all the names and take them down and whatnot. But um, in, in a vanilla game, you there's nothing uh, you can use to see their names besides, uh, I guess you can change the opacity of it. It's in the, the settings. Graphics. Where is it? Um, it's somewhere. It's like opacity of UI, yeah. Um, name tag opacity. Scale it and all that. Don't worry, Joe. If they if they come after so, you, I'm that may be what you need. Um, but it really comes down to uniform recognition game. in uh, <laughs> vanilla games, in my opinion. Like they're pretty distinct for the most part. Um, it gets a little similar with like the Russians and the uh, what's the the militia. They have pretty similar uniforms. But most others, you can tell who's a U.S. soldier and who's an insurgent soldier. But at distance, yeah, I understand. It could definitely, definitely get hard. What's up, squad ops? What's up, Jimmy the Rustler? Yeah, look at that. Totally looks like an insurgent. That's a squad lead kit. Um, this another squad lead kit. They haven't had anybody spawn in. Look, look, oh, here they are. I think this is a lat. Squad lead. 
Oh, I haven't had anybody spawn in yet. Yos is about ready to go, and Surgeon's getting ready. I don't think Dwarf is giving a full platoon brief, obviously, because his half of his platoon is starting off on two separate um, checkpoints. Joe, Let's go see if he's going to give a brief to us, too. Uh, question, I am on the waiting list for the basic training for tonight. Do I still need to muster for it, or will I get... Or only if I get me to confirm. Um, it's recommended that you show up because uh, people, you know, for one reason or another, people don't show up, and uh, just like, there's a chance you you will get into basic. Guys. But I, yeah, I think they still say you should show up if you're on the wait list because there's a high chance you'll get in. But the, for, for some reason, the but if first it's like round super late at night, like, then call. didn't didn't even try to to stop the the extract. I still don't understand why. Waiting on a live time. Squad I leaves believe. up for FTL, Let's so see. at least know what the fuck are going on. Yeah, but the problem was is that they, they uh, decided to one walk one. up to the 144 at live time, so live in about a minute and a half. Alright. So US are gonna move directly out of Maine with an MRAP and a yeah, without transport. MRAP and a transport. Right. Where is the transport? Right, you hey, just three wait, Tony, do you want an extra medic? You want a third medic? Because I either t I can't really I can't fit another one. Or I can, but I don't. Oh wow, giving Pono a third medic. That could be uh, pretty crazy. We won't watch the live from uh, we won't yeah we won't watch the start from Maine. We'll watch the start from uh, Lawn Darts' checkpoint checkpoint Apple because this is where the contact is going to be had. Um, not right off the bat, I'd say. But it's going to be nine versus a full platoon within the first, I'd say, five to six minutes. Joe, you have three minutes. What time zone does your ready. website use? It is in your time zone. Whatever your computer time zone is set to, that's what it is, uh, Jimmy. So whatever time zone that is, it's it's for you. Live time, 141. Live time is shifted a little bit, so about three, about four minutes. Three minutes, 40 seconds. And uh, I ask all the questions you want, Jimmy. That's the point of the stream is to get people interested in squad ops, get them to participate, get them to watch, get them to enjoy squad, you know? So if you got any questions, I'd be happy to answer them or you know, point you in the right direction. So, little OPs here. Actually, look Could really I good. I, have, like, on top of this I don't one. hate any of these positions. They're like sneaky fallback positions, it looks like. So, Uzi has ways to get back. There's concealment with the trees. There's this OP the there. I really like. I like these fighting uh, positions here. This is some really good. No, this no, is no, gonna no, be some no, good like uh, close speed. range gunfights. Close to mid. I, I guess this would be mid range. I'd still think this would be really close. Close range. Can I get? What do you think their Finally. chances are yeah, for holding it. of off a platoon with nine zone. people? Well, Miss Daisy, with these fighting positions, I think they can do it. What is this? Hmm. Well, the if they're just overran, yeah, like, then yeah, the, the chances aren't very high. But they're in a pretty solid spot to make them pay if they do run at them. If they just fully uh, charge the platoon uh, at them, these I'll nine people can up. take out at least uh, nine. Right. I, I'd say upwards of 10, 10 to 16 people yep. would go down trying to just dig these guys out. If they just full-on rush them. Obviously, if they, they try to flank and everything and they can get their flanks off properly and, and coming from different angles, there's a high likelihood that... You know, they'd come out the better, but then that gives the U.S. time to get in into position, so. Who knows? Yeah, you see where you want to be? Yeah, can I say He's taking a here? break, just had an epic match with 17 yeah. kills and two knife kills. Nice, Jimmy. Good shit. Checks, uh, you should check out our uh, whitelist server. It's uh, squadops.gg whitelist. Actually, I don't think it's called whitelist. I think it's called, um... I mean, oh god, it's like Invasion INS or something like that. It's Invasion INS and then Mixed Mode. Uh, right Let's say it's in our README. I will go check. I need a, uh, Keep changing the names of the servers. Public servers is Invasion INS and RAS Invasion. And we also have a Postscriptum server up too. Nice. You're interested. Depends on driving skills by the reinforcements. Yeah. Actually, that's a very good point. These Cora is a, is notorious for for vehicles just because all of these roads we're live in two minutes. Wow, I feel like I've been talking forever. Like notorious for these like thin, narrow roads, rickety bridge crossings where you, you know there's a chance you can flip off, flip your vehicle. There's a lot 
This is gonna be a racetrack for these drivers. Let's go check out who's driving home, or who's driving to the uh, point. INS 24, or Invasion 24-7 and RAS Invasion. Oh, and INS, uh, Insurgency is broken at the moment. Good to know, Mr. Easy. And I think, I feel like it's always broken. I feel like that's always the thing, like, oh, they, they messed in, <laughs> they messed Insurgency up again. Whoops. Cool. We get a couple, like, good games out of it, and then you're like, no. Nope. Alright, Bravo. Buddy teams is gonna be Muscles and Raph, and then Bobby and myself. Yeah. You're you're the assault team alpha because you have two medics and I, yes, I've oh, never seen any no browsers in 24 hours. No ARs. Yeah, like, the invasion oh, server stays popped more Damn you, look, often than the other hey, one. Hey, look, you always, have to check empty servers. You're the assault team because you're so good at it. Okay. Yeah, that's. I was gonna need it. That's totally why. You know, you know, you know, I have a pretty good record of getting my entire squad killed from a uh, one grenade, right? <laughs> I not best luck when leading assaults. That's not your fault. 40 seconds was still alive. Definitely not your fault. Are these no, maps familiar to the players or are they randomly generated? These are we're familiar with these maps. Um, squad that only has like because a grenade 15 or so maps. So actually is yeah. it 15? It's yeah, it's close, close, close to 15 maps. Point, cat, so there's, there's a variety of them but we, point, I've got 2700 hours in this game. I have no idea. Storm was the HVT and he 70, just walked 1700 hours in this game? That's not right. Totally have more than 1700 hours in this game. But, but car was one, though. The, the mortar oh, I only have 1700? I thought I had way more than that. Of building. But still, so I have 1700 hours in this game. Most people in, who have like we, that much playtime. Not even um, really attack, 10 seconds. And then we got to go sit at the expo. They know these maps. The, pretty, uh, the US, pretty which familiar. Was fucking hilarious. They're pretty I mean, we still these. took basically the whole town and killed all of them, but it was a bad round for them. Alright, go. The second to last time we did Operation Alamo. Um, and we are live. Let's watch this. Looks fuck, like Pony's driving, and I can't tell who's driving this one. Like Dwarf is shot him. Actually, Both Dwarf might be the one yeah. Exterior explosions. One time I was standing right next to Bump. He died. I was fine. Another time they put. I was going to spawn with incendiary grenades, and the children's spawn time doesn't go down. I was fine. Dwarf died. It was. It was bad. Huh. Oh shit. Whoa. Yeah, that's weird. It's fine. Already almost wrecked right off the bat. I remember that. Off to a great start. Let's go zoom in and check over on the checkpoint. So far, nothing spawned in. Nothing spawned in. Looks, there we go. Full platoon on the west. And look, two pronged attack. They've got Merrick on the south to feint a push on squad four. I like this. He's going to do three three squads on the north to attack Lawn Archers and one squad on the south to attack Bag of Joe's. Bag of Joe's actually got a much better fighting position here than uh, Lawn Darts, in my opinion. Look at this. Lots, lot more buildings and walls to hide behind. Yeah, I definitely like this. This position to defend a lot more, which is probably why Dwarf is is saying that this is where uh, they're going to attack, just because it's much more open. And uh, I really think this puts the U.S. in a better position. It's going to be more fun to defend here, because, like, look at this engagement range. Like, this is, like, perfect. Anything that peaks this corner is just going to get mowed down by a million different guns pointed at him, or nine different guns. Look at this spot he's got here. I like it. See, this is a nice, Steve, nice spot here. If you could watch for me, southwest so along that, uh, yeah, southwest and west. I've got eyes. So, insurgents yeah. spreading out into a north-south line. One, four, three, two on the south. Five is gonna, or a command is gonna follow one. It looks like, looks like they're gonna push in from the north. Uh... Nate Central. See, that's the thing. It's not gonna be Nate Central because he's got lots okay. of grenade yeah, sandbags. I mean, yeah, I guess if you threw all your nades, you'd, you'd blow up a lot of sandbags, but I, there's plenty of sandbags to hide behind where you... It's not likely you're going to go down. It's going to be hard to see where the grenade lands, actually, in the grass. But, uh, you know, there's plenty of sandbags to jump behind and get around if you if you catch it. Catch it landing. And, like, this this little spot here will block any underhanded grenades over the wall. Pony, you know what to do. I like this. They can't. They can we run Lodgy, there, so two, two, the two, checkpoints can run Lodgy, but they must be escorted by the Emirates. Are we decided to be that north flank, but three and five are coming in now. Uh, no, no, we good. Should be okay. So you want to be careful. Joe, at this point, I have a feeling they're gonna come after you. The murder hole actually, uh, 55, and I'm looking through the big gap. 
do I talk? Which will be more Catching some local comms. Get sort of seeing. Good local comms is a sign of good squad comms, a sign of good command comms. Like, I like comms. I like communication. It's the point of the game. And when you hear it all the way down to the local level, it just amazing. I love it. He's just sort of holding a defensive posture. No need to be aggressive here. They, they're on defense. They're the ones watching the checkpoints, making sure nobody's coming through. Looks like uh, Merrick is getting to the south of Bag of Joe's squad. Let's check out this movement here. Is they're gonna? This is where first contact's gonna be at. And this this uh, feint here could draw Silence the reinforcement you. platoon over. Yeah, it looks like Bag of Pest Bunny is sending a QR force here, drawing a lot of guys here. Three's gonna go up the river, try and get up behind squad one. Squad four's gonna come in from the west, almost Stop. directly using the Pointed river. You squad one's face, gonna come man. in from almost direct north using the river. Gonna map. put you front of a freaking, I don't know what it's called. The thing. A cord, that's what it's called. Yeah, I remember. What? I'm gonna put you in front of a cord. To my north. Dis disobey. <laughs> You're gonna disobey my my orders. Yeah, Baggage Joe's getting or Baggage Joe's squad is slowly getting pushed oh, oh, by Merrick. Pony, come in. Oh wait, that's uh, gonna get headshot. Yeah, yeah. So but okay, still, I'm I skip getting to position. Tom's all in the SL though, in my opinion. I don't have that many hours compared yeah, to you, so but if you have like really confident SL, there. everyone else falls on. That is true. A good SL yeah, makes a good squad. Um, but. You know, if you got the other people following the line, that's that's still they're doing their part. Oh, can I just they're taking out? shots oh, from Baggage Joe. Ice Cube oh, taking oh, some oh, shots. What's He's going gonna... on? Oh shit! Come yeah, he's gonna come contact from the south. south. Yeah, but a good SL definitely has a more more well, drastic effect on whether the squad is good or not. MG is set up for Freedom Fighter going out. Yeah, I don't agree with the popular smokes here. Yeah, Ice Cube is doing just fine. He wasn't even shot. Whatever that place is called, the orchard or something. He's basically uh, giving them free the smokes to and maneuver with. Copy. Command, what is ROE for? Look, if SO is messing around, uh, and we were to. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, straight. SOs have a much more uh, impact on a good I'm squad, but. Um, in, a, in our. Um, in our. Like, the, the individual yeah, member has a yeah, lot of sway one. as well, because, yeah, like, I'd like to hear more local comms here. I guess there's probably squad comms. But between these three guys, guiding in fire, figuring out where their hey, exact fire is coming from. Yeah, see, this is the, the comms right here, not just that confirming smoke. Yeah, that's my smoke. Yeah. Oh, that's your smoke? Gotcha. It's just okay. uh, kind of like a squad to my north south, looks like. Yeah, I like someone's no playing very similar to how I play. So this, this, Good, this engagement right, is pulling a full squad out to hold. Let's go check out the north and how, and how that oh, development please, is. Squad, uh, what is this? Squad 3. Got a fire team almost to the direct south. He's gonna approach this from the north. He's not even gonna attack squad one. He's diverting the to the, the south here. Actually, I have no idea what these guys are doing. I'm just guessing. It looks like they're diverting south. I'm not sure where Hero's fire team is going. It looks like they're gonna try and assault them from the direct west. They're just gonna get this is the this is the, the avenue that they're watching. Like this is this, they're they're making sure nobody's gonna come through here. They're gonna, they're gonna spot these. We got Connex on the hill above us. We got Connex hill, hill above checkpoint. Connex on the hill above right. the checkpoint. Alright, then stamp. Eyes Good on, shit. uh, it looks like Good Gnome, shit. Gnome Sane goes okay. down. They caught these full squad down, out in the open. Lawson goes down. What oh, a, what an ambush here. Good MG push. Let's go check out who's the one who fired most of the shots. Bartok Warrior and Bump taking a lot of shots. We need to continue to lay down fire. Bartok, pull back into combat. Bump. Yeah, Bartok Warrior is what's going on. I need to lay down the first. Okay, understood. Bump. Reloading. Bump, yeah, interrogate. Fire down for Bartok. Oh, yeah. cross. Go ahead, wait. I need a medic. Good engagement here. Spotting this northern push before anything even happens. Squad 2 is oh, now going to push it. into uh, observing Squad 2's flank. Squad 3 needs to do something. They're sort of in a, a hazy... They can go either way, but they they haven't committed, so they're not doing anything sort of position. The way you need to push them back, get into the thing. Yeah, these guys now need to spread out. Fire at here. They've caught this push on the south. Yeah, Epic Smiley being tagged. Good defensive posture from the U.S. They've managed to catch a lot off guard, and uh, three kills right for now. them so far to zero for the insurgents. The st insurgents still can't come back, but the, the U.S. It's got to be a a good. Uh, they can't confirm any of these kills. I'm taking no casualties, but we have no confirmables at this time. 
They've got three, they can't confirm anything. But it's got to feel good for the U.S. They've caught a lot of stuff off guard. Best Point is going to come in on a flank here. they got to be feeling good uh, continuing on this. The, the, there's got to be a lot of pressure on the insurgents because their 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 flanks haven't been as quick and effective as they wanted to. They wanted to get online from their posturing. They wanted to get online with squad 2, engage, and then push hard with squads uh, 1, 4, and 3. Wow, what a... They gotta check their fire or talk their guns a little bit better. Here we're going full auto there for a second. They got both MGs right next to each other. Kill box shooting, yeah, they that was an engagement there. Another one kill for them, but that it, it cuts off their west. Pretty effective fire right there. Alright, I'm taking heavy suppression from AR fire Joe, but uh we've in his ambush. The ambush wasn't as successful as it could have been. What? But it definitely it. It's gonna force these guys to do something, and Pony's in the better position. Oh, look at this flank here by Alpha Bleeder's fire team. He split up his fire teams. This is great. Oh, that's the, that's that's how to use your fire teams right there. Pony's fire and maneuvers. Firing with one fire team, maneuvering with the other. Close. God, that's that, that's beautiful movement here. Alpha's gonna get a nice headshot on him, maybe. Oh, he doesn't take the right shot. there. One right on the gap of the L wall. Yep. See him. See him. Just two medics working together. Got Still no casualties from Karma. Took a headshot Got on me. CPS. I missed it. I looked down. right, right as Muscles took the shot. Dark Milkshake gonna go down here? Wow, he Pull made back. that. No, he goes down. Yeah, Squad 2 just got... Squad 2 for the Insurgent just got destroyed here. Eight kills for the US as... Uh, Baggage is actually gonna push out aggressively with Seared Chest and Orange. Alpha Guido and Muscles pushing into the same field as Big E.H. Merrick and We Are Airborne and Dean. We have contacts northwest and west of us. They uh, see them, they don't see them. East on our north. These poppy fields are very thick. One ahead. Enemy infantry due west of Abyssin. They, they hear We Are Airborne, they don't see We Are Airborne. One's right here, 345, I don't know. There he goes. He's in the field, they got him. He's in the field, got him. They got We Are Airborne. There's three more there they have no idea about. Loading. All in all, successful ambush by uh, a successful ambush by Pony. What's a successful uh, um, flank by his uh, pl uh, his fire team? But Liberal Pundit and Sled V somehow get over on the flank. I'm not sure how they ended up in this position. They take out Senpai, Best Pony, Verts, and Kumquat. Know where they are now. clear them out from the south before we do that. Huh? Who just got hit? Who the fuck just took out? I have no idea. What the fuck? They'd have no idea about Sled V and, and Liberal I Pundit. Right, I'm figuring he's gonna run up. right over Go Liberal ahead. Pundit. Do you have contact east of you? Whoa, I don't believe so. I'll, uh, I know it this time. <laughs> you get some Go ahead. <laughs> I'm a bit concerned about that ditch or creek to your southwest. Good night, uh, but Guido, let's go check out uh, action on the north. Only one more guy left yeah, on the uh, south. It's the, okay, the north, or back. one guy in the, uh, three that's guys on the south, four, actually, three here, one here. Good knife. Um, engagements on the northern point, checkpoint uh, uh, Apple, yeah, checkpoint Apple. Looks like it is 100% stalled. Axis filled in where uh, Hero's fire team has been. They haven't had any success pushing there. I'm not sure why they're, they're reinforcing there. Um, this northern push looks like it's trying to split the difference and head north and swing around, but uh, I think this is uh, Bump's fire team or Bump's squad is really preventing any kind of movement like that. Bartark warriors are now firing in the north. I guess they think there are guys in the north. There's nobody there. Oh, really solid defense from the U.S. so far. Poor liberal, yep, nice knife. SMG's able to just lock down so much. They're slowly getting, they're getting... It's a war of attrition right now, it looks like. Just long-range engagements. Brute goes down. That's second kill for the Insurgents. Ten for the, uh... U.S. Insurgents are starting to push, it looks like. They're posturing to push. It looks like this is where they're gonna push from. Where Axe Gaming, Kyle, and Epic Smiley are. 
They really, really want this as you see a bunch of forts starting to move down towards it. They really want to go through here. And it's just a, it's a funnel. It is a funnel with the Stig looking right down it. I don't like it. Why he pulled these guys back? They really think they're guys in the north. They really, really think they're guys in the north. <laughs> they need to get a medic in here and get Stig and Efanks back to full because this is the this is the linchpin right here. Stig's got to watch. He sees, misses. Saw Kyle. I don't think he saw Sentry. I need another MG here, I think. Careful, we'll take it snaps from somewhere. How how does Stig go to cover like that? Um, he's looking up. He's reloading and he's looking directly up. Copy. What's the main enemy position? That's, that's that's his cover. Technically, he can still get shot, but you know, to sort of go down like that, yeah. Just look straight up when you when you have your bipod up. So this offensive on the south, yeah, completely shattered, it looks like. They're just leaving squad two, it looks like. Sled V, alone, he's not going to be able to do much. Full platoon, or full two squads are going to move north off of this, completely abandoning the southern checkpoint. Going to run right into here on Bakbu, maybe? Or run right past him, it looks like. Uh, we've lost uh, one times uh, personal at this point. Just the heli op already been done. The heli op has not been done because we do not have helicopters in our operations just yet. Your real question is how do you tell who's winning in this game? Um, it's really you, so the one way: 15 kills for the U.S., two kills for the insurgents. That's one way to tell who's winning, but it doesn't really come down to you, you look at more things when it comes to to actually who's winning. Who's in the better position? Um, you know, strength-wise, obviously the U.S. are in the better position. Positioning-wise, the U.S. are still in the better position because they've got a nice little flank here as they slowly envelop the insurgent forces. Uh, falling back off that point, they took out Hero. Baku's going to go down here as Ice Cube sees him, I think. Ice Cube knows he's there. Frag out. Too far, I bet. Yep, too far. It explodes in the air. Oh, another frag out takes out Ice Cube. He's suicided. He kills himself with his own grenade. Uh, we lost... Uh... Um, but look at this positioning from the U.S. They're going to attack them from three different angles. i got to zoom out and do a wide-angle shot. There's blue on the south, west, and east. And surgeons surrounding. They're pushing in the best pony. Silent and Silas go down to a grenade. Frag takes out verts and muscles. Spacing on both sides is not great. Evan SMA goes down to a grenade. Round one, round two. This is round one, XO Skelly. This is, uh, we're probably nearing the end game at this point. We've got, a uh, 21 kills for the US, 7 for the Insurgents. Insurgents had a lot of trouble pushing in. Kirkley goes down. They really got stalled in the north when their, 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 uh, flank got spotted. And then the fact that Merrick didn't have any eastern security uh, and got, uh, really, uh, and got flanked really hurt uh, him on the south. Uh, and he, uh, he wasn't supposed to do much actually game getting shot from Best Pony and Friends, looks like. Um, he, Merrick wasn't supposed to do much on the south. He was just supposed to draw attention, but the fact that he didn't have uh, eastern security really hurt him when he got flanked. And, you know, he, he just lost his entire squad, and I don't think he ended up doing too much for it, you know. But four is doing the mess. Axis squad is is trying to to maneuver around. This is Axis squad, but they've they've been caught um, and between a rock and a hard place. Squad to sit on the wall. Uh, my, uh, his squad four. We have lost this L and fire team and three more people in the cell. We're in a similar situation. Uh, yeah. well, actually, they, they 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 pushed into a bulk of the insurgent forces. That's the the, the thing. They did lose a lot of guys here. Notch's squad. Uh, I don't remember who's in charge of Notch's squad. Let's check. They had to attack us, so there's. If we're taking Bag of Joe's squad. Yeah, they lost a lot of guys pushing through here, taking out Baku and Hero. Baku's still alive, and Sudby's finally hooking up with his platoon. This flank has suddenly turned.
how the turntables come quad our best pony squad now has two guys sled b and bakwheel on their west we'll see if they can make uh use of this or if they're just gonna be scared looks like sled b and uh bakwheel are scared seven six nine that's near the little bridge uh to our west northwest echo seven six nine confirm Spotted William, XF, well, and one kind of... Oh, an axe. They spotted axe. That's who they spotted. That. That's closer to Other the bridge. Compound. West? Yeah, to your... On the west side Copy. of the road. It should be safe enough for you to be in there. Can you just tie this up? How do I go to spectator? Shift P to go to spectator cam. Oh, no. We watched you die, Muscle. I think you were over here. You were with the flank, I know that. Yeah. You were in Alpha, or Best Pony's flank. You were working with Alpha Weed, I remember you. I remember that name. Actually, Best Pony's squad gets, uh... Um, almost completely behind him. Good, another overhead view. I can't do a full count of the British, or sorry, of the US because there's too many, but I count... Less than 12 insurgents remaining. They've got at least 15 on the objective proper. The U.S. do, and uh, Sorry, a, a the, full, almost a full squad off the port. To the southwest. He's, he's ready. He's on the other side of this wall. I saw like uh, three guys. Yes, the one that Karma Cut just uh, vacated. Next, get spotted. Axe gets done. Uh, they are alright. Push down. this compound to our direct east right now. What was the objective now? Uh, the objective of this uh, operation is the insurgents are tasked with attacking one of two checkpoints. There's a checkpoint on the north, checkpoint Apple, and a checkpoint on the south, checkpoint Banana. Both very similar to this. I don't know. Type again. Checkpoint on the south the is the now completely abandoned because they've dealt with it. They feel, which. They have, but I, I wouldn't have loved to completely abandon because that is technically the objective. They could double back if they wanted to. Um, but the, the insurgents are tasked with assaulting one of two objectives, and once they take one of those objectives, they then hold the objective, and the U.S. are forced to take it back. So the U.S. have more to defend. The insurgents only have to attack one of the points and hold one of the points. But they tried for a two-prong attack with three squads on the north, one squad on the south, and it just didn't work out for them. They got spotted early on both flanks. Bakbu and uh, PGA Tour here having a grenade fight, it looks like. An underhanded grenade fight. Oh, not at the right angle. Oh, he overhanded it too. Right, Jesus. Two. The uh, contact currently is between you and Fart. Yeah, but uh, insurgents are, are having some trouble pushing. They are the, the guys on the offense, so the, insert, the US can play this as slow as they want to because. In the end, the insurgents are going to have to move. Insurgents do look like they're trying to move. These guys on the south, Storm, Baku, Hudson, Kyle, Sentry, they don't look like they're about to move. That'd be even. But these guys on the north here, XF, William Empty, Munkai, they're ready. And they're, they're going to try and get a flank on. This is XF leading this for sure. Very uh, aggressive style of commanding and leading. And it pays off for him a lot of the time, but uh, looks like he's going to get flanked here. And won't pay off for him this time. He just gets mowed down by an MG of a uh, Bartok Warrior. William FB will taking shots and so is Munkai. We are, we are moving south now. Leave the north alone. They'll have Bartok Warrior has done some, yep. some work. Three kills, but being able to lock down so many Alpha Guido with the medic. We got Iconics direct north of uh, my pause, my other fire team to the north of the Keijing. Frag uh, not, not far point. enough. Okay, so yeah, they're um, up in the Fox 6. He's gonna try and get out of there. Uh, so let's check out who's alive command wise, because that's gonna be a big deal for uh, finishing out this end game of uh, first round Operation Trespass. So for the US, we have command still up. Um, no more squad leads, no more command, so he's gotta hook up with somebody. That's an original squad lead, original squad lead. Original squad okay, lead. So they're looking the, uh, pretty good command structure wise. They've only lost about a squad's worth of people. Um, for the insurgents, they've got their original. Oh, that's They've got their original platoon lead, Storm. Um, it's a bad. Situation. It's a wipe squad just so, about. Axe is dead. It's a wipe squad just about. It's a wipe squad just about. 
and that's not an original squad there's a fire team lead. so the insurgents are definitely hurting for command wise and looks like while I was looking the other way looking at that storm pushes them they lose like four guys here I see four dead people here I see three dead people here three dead insurgents and one dead US best money getting pushed hard but a Bakby and Sudby only ones remaining. We're in kind of a bad situation here. Wow. You did good work. Yeah, Axe, we saw you struggle to run up and no. down, <laughs> up and down the, the 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 map, north and south, and you just couldn't find an open. Graf is gonna see this guy, I think. Twenty-eight for the U.S., eleven for the insurgents. So he does send a fire team back yep. to defend the three, checkpoint. This is command. I'm not right, sure. I got you. And, okay, go three. cool. They're gonna defend the checkpoint. That's three, good. Make sure you keep your oh, they're on the wrong side of this best pony. Gets taken out. Slendy takes out two. They they got on the wrong side, thinking that this was the safe side. It was not. I'll be waiting. Well, four. Be prepared. Dude, this was a really good position. Like right now. For you, we might have you move south here pretty quick. So, actual count of insurgents: That's two, four, six. Yep. Oh. All working in buddy teams looks like. Good job. Good, good teamwork. For the U.S., let's get an actual count. I see two, nine. Single times contact. What at orchard? That's what we're firing on. Seventeen. <laughs> We got almost 11 more people than the uh, the insurgents, and they're on the defense. They've got sandbags. They've got medics. Why hasn't Cobra gone and healed these guys yet? Why hasn't Efank and the Stig called for anybody to come heal them? Come on, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. William FBD and Monk, I can try for another angle. They really want this north, though. Um, Bartok Warrior and Wayne Newton here, though. Locking it down. They're watching this north side of the map, facing west. They don't know William and Monk are here. Love you guys. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Jacob. Um, we appreciate it. If you like what you see and you want to give us a follow, twitch.tv forward slash squad ops, we'd appreciate it. We also upload our videos, youtube.com forward slash squad ops. If you want to participate in these ops, you should check us out, squadops.gg. All you have to do is sign up for our squad ops basic training course, and then uh, oh, after you finish the basic training, only about 45 minutes to an hour long, you can then participate in any and all of our squad ops uh, events. They are a lot of fun, and we couldn't do these events without you guys. I'm sure. Inus can still do this, can they? Um, uh, ham security. If they went ham, yeah, they could. They're working in buddy teams, but they just want, like, Fucking Rambo and just right. picked him oh, off I very slowly. They could do this, but back. the likelihood? Nope, spotted. <laughs> William and Monk, I spotted Thanks. immediately. <laughs> Did you hear that? As soon as they vaulted, <laughs> bumped, <laughs> screamed in the command comms. Two guys, two guys, a buddy advancing on my uh, Bravo one uh, buddy team. We're engaging them now. Copy that. All right, we still have on automatic I just there's a the little saying where there's the information that you need to know, yeah, and I got used to saying it. So somewhere too. I, I have it. I have it down to a, a rhythm. Wayne is just gonna underhand a grenade here. Not too far. Too far, but uh, doesn't matter. Monkai and uh, I, I forget. It goes down. Get behind me. Oh, Northern Flank dealt with. U.S. or Insurgents down to yeah. four. Back, Bakby looks like he's hurt. So, Sledby and Bakby not working together. Looks like they're, or Bakby's going to head over and get hook up with Bundy and uh, House Hippo. This is, okay, so we got Sledby, we got Bakby, House Hippo, Bundy. Nobody. These, these are just regular members of the community. They're not yeah, regulars. Got, yep, they're just they're normal people of the community. One of these guys has to step up and take charge. You've got four guys, they need to get these guys organized and get them moving in a cohesive direction. There's no ops member here to, to sort of lead them, so it's all about who's going to take a, take charge. Got randomly capped in a compound. I'm not sure where you, you died. Uh, not a freedom fighter. Not sure where you died. 
See so who's posturing like he's in charge. House Hippo's in the lead. Is he in charge? Is he, is he taking charge of these guys? I really hope he is. You really want to be working together for this. It. Somebody's got to. Somebody's got to do it's it. Somebody's got to lead. Poor guys. Not, it's not like there's gonna be much they can do. But if they diverted here, and look, if they if that diverted south, four against two. That's some odds there, isn't it? If they need assistance or they don't need assistance, man. They need coverage on this fob. Normal members of the community as in abnormal members of the community? Yes, exactly what I mean. No, like, uh, just the, the general player rather than regulars. Because we that is one of our guess, tags is you can become a regular sure and uh, wear the ops tag. Contacts. Copy. Go, INS fellas, go. Kill them all. They've hooked up together. Look, this is a full fire team now. Sled V, Bakbu, Bundy, and House Hippo. I, I, I had eyes on two bodies here. See, let's see what uh, happens. <laughs> right now, they're just sort of in a field. But they haven't even, they, they stopped moving. They were moving, um, what direction is this? They are moving south, and now they've stopped. They're reconverging like a nature documentary. The insurgents hiding in a field. Determining where they need to move next for the long winter. Getting the ammo. That's what they're doing. This is golfing in the south, so chance for the INS. Yeah. Only two people here. Thing is, it's gonna take so long to get down here. I'm not sure if they remember that this is an objective, or it's been so long since they do that. How can you since they've been down here? Long. I'm not sure if they remember that this is an objective. Curse I'm just just amazing. You look this way, you can see four scared small highness regrouping, looking for food. They're actual refugees now, rather than insurgents. They need to head south, take out the left defender. Looks, look at them. They're moving. Moving. They've stood up. The, the insurgents look like they're about to start their long journey south. Bundy in the lead, Bakbu following. David Attenberg voice needs work. Yes, I, I don't have a David Attenberg voice. I agree. They're being as careful as they can be. They're just, they're clearing out, there's, there's nobody within Four. Um, 300 meters of them almost, no, 150 meters of them, 250 four, meters of them almost. Seven, three. You guys play hold fast? Uh, um, I don't play hold fast personally like J6, but if you hop I, onto the uh, Discord and, and just, you know, ask in our off topic channel, anybody play hold fast, you might get some responses. Are it looks three, interesting. That's the, the line yeah, combat uh, Civil War game, right? Three, push straight it south. looks interesting. I think it's on my wish list. Through into the uh, main river. Copy, this uh, river just south of the or the main river. The, the main river. Big river. Copy. And go link up with four. Three is going to move south, hook up with four. So now there's a timer suddenly on, on this, this I would have fire team. Keep sitting here. They stop moving. So often, it's like they're talking, trying to figure out what they need to do. But uh, there's there's now a time timer. There's the the time limit of the the match round, obviously, okay, which is now, you know, hour fifteen, whatever. Um, there's now a time limit of four against two or four against six. You guys push south. We'll see. So you're five strong. Poor Baku, one fourth health with no medic. Yeah, Baku is not looking good. It's a night map, no medic. He's got such low health. This his screen is probably almost completely black. When do you decide enough is enough in the ops? Don't you have a situation where they can't find one guy? The odds are massively in their favor. Um, they that's what our van admins are for. Um, Sky guy. Um, our van admin, Albrad. Um, our event team, they, they sort of, they have training in, like, Four, sort of pacing of the ops, sort of, that's what they understand is, 
how to keep the ops moving right. or flowing in, in a manner because it's not only these guys that are playing it's everybody in admin cam you got to think about as well all these guys participating so if these guys are definitely taking too long the event admins will give them a push and and, and it'll be in some way like there's a drone flying over you have three minutes before you're spotted or you have five minutes before the round ends because something x happens and things like that so our event admins are, are the ones who who deal with with that kind of things and they deal with our you know getting the match started on time doing all the briefs making sure nobody's breaking any rules and stuff our event admins have done a great job making sure the events run as smoothly as possible Command, I can uh, I can definitely spotty pair to send uh, southwest. Yeah, have them sweep through the uh, canal and push down that way. Uh, just gotcha. because you're close, N three is. Smart move. Send the the hurt guy across first. Baku gets across. They're gonna cross one at a time just because they're so afraid, and it's a large way. crossing. To be fair. Can't play this having no vocal cords but love these vids and streams appreciate it um mrs deville appreciate it if you like what you see want to give us a follow twitch.tv forward slash squad ops we would really appreciate it also upload our videos youtube.com forward slash squad ops three don't have to be super special about this just get there <laughs> it's you don't have to be so it's just a direct tactical gabby uh we were bounding across her but we'll move So Dwarf is going to come in contact here really soon from these four. Cappy, we're crossing the nearest part of the river. We're moving straight west now. Appreciate it. Going to move there. It's going to be a minute for them to get into this fight, but uh, I don't think it's going to matter. They're going to be moving the rest of this match. Um, because uh, Bakbu, Sledby, House Hippo, and Bundy gonna come into contact with Dwarf here really soon, I think. Yeah. Don't need a voice. Just stay. Uh, just pay attention and hands on in game. A lot of people will s like you. When I saw, I like it when people do what's it's told, even with no mic. Or, really be on the lookout. You're really yep, silent. You but yeah, no contact had in a long time. Yeah, in a vanilla game, it's developed, you can definitely uh, play and have and have no problems without a mic. There's not too much information that you need to give through th through comms, um, and any any information that you need to give through comms, you can just type in squad squad chat, which is pretty okay. And in, in the events, I feel having a mic is more more necessary. But uh, vanilla games, you can definitely get away with not having a mic for sure. I, and as long as yeah, as long as you're listening to the squad lead, sticking with them, doing what he's asking. I see nothing there. Gonna be the best squad member ever. All right, one forty. That's Here, the way we're going. Copy. So both of these guys are gonna pass each other. Four. Pass. Uh, these three are gonna pass these four. Is gonna pass these six, five, six. Yeah. Leaving, so it's gonna be four on four. Four, how's it looking over there at the CP? Nothing. No, four on five. All right. Okay, we're almost there. <laughs> so the the US okay. are unintentionally making an opening for the insurgents here. Could be, could bite them in the ass. <laughs> Thanks, but it's really annoying for people who yeah, think I'm rude. Wow, so they think you're rude for not having a mic. I'd find right. new friends to hang out with. Or I guess it's random people. They're not people you want to hang out with anyways. I've had plenty of people who didn't have mics in my squad before. Oh, and I say plenty, I mean like, I could probably count them on one hand. So they're watching this. Can you see this? How far can you see down that way? Oh, contact yeah. is close. 
Spotted Neil. Oh, nice yeah, shot on to Baku. Enemy down. I mean, you say Throwing the frag. Yeah, one time's enemy. One times. Good frag. Good frag. We'll sweep it for you and clear it out. There's at least one more. Oh, I thought it was further. Nope. It's knee hold. Bump, keep going to uh, squad four. Take this buddy team. Londar's gonna push this lead B. Looks like frag just not far enough to take out Cobra. Londar spears these guys underhand. Why do people always. If you hear them, why do you overhand their grenade? Like, if you hear them, they're obviously close. Just underhand it. I'd underhand it. I prefer underhanding. Looks out. Blanks by uh, Dwarf and Friends. Sled B goes down. Bundy goes down. Or Sled B is still alive. Bundy goes down. The other one goes down. Stig is on a nice little uh, angle there to uh, finish off the last little bit. And then Serpent's got spotted. Very unfortunate. Underhanding always suicides me. I guess I do like a little jump before underhanding. I don't. I, I'm pretty good at underhanding. That's to you, Northwest. Be careful, I'm over here. Make sure you clear the wall and you don't hit me with it. Frag out. Yeah, I don't want to move if I move. They think they're in the buildings. Yeah, they think they're in the buildings. This house hit both. I was the last person who died. I recognize the name now. So Sled V's in, a, in an awkward position here. You can get over the uh, sandbag wall, Omar. Should be on this side of the other side. Yep. Uh, Check the other side. I hear him. I hear him. He's right on the left. Toss on a lob fragger. Yeah, he's pretty much crawling along the side of the water squad. Yeah, look at that. That's gonna be far enough. And he, as, as he crawls towards it, <laughs> so he takes oh, it down to the grenade. GG, good frag by I think that was Ethan who tossed it. So the US had some brutal flanks. The INS tried to oh, get a flank on. They tried to have a two prong attack. But it just got spotted so early, and once it got spotted, they were thrown on the back yeah. foot. They they were struggling to find an opening. They didn't. They really. They pushed at that northern point over and over and over again. I don't understand why they did straight contact and try for the south point. Maybe it was because of how brutal Merrick's squad got destroyed on the south from Best Pony. But uh, it was pretty. 17 kills for this full squad. Yeah, that was a pretty brutal flank from uh, Pony. I'm unsure. Maybe that's why they didn't send too many guys to the south. But. We've obviously got that hindsight view, we've got the 2020 vision, we've got the, the x-ray vision, we can see blue, we can see red, so we can make the best decision possible. They're working with what they've got on the field, with working with the communication they've got, we didn't hear the INS comms, I really wish there was some way we could have, or we could hear both comms, or choose which comms you hear in admin cam, rather than, whilst keeping the same colors, because I'm going to be US both times, so we can hear the uh, Storm Squad and uh, his plans, Storm Squads and his plan. We'll see uh, how they decide to hold uh, OP Apple and OP, or I guess CP Apple, CP Banana. Fire then maneuver. X. <laughs> I think he's making a joke on uh, last round. He, they, they, they were hardened up in a lot of positions. They fired, they stopped firing, and then they tried to maneuver as a full platoon. They should have, you know, fired and maneuvered with one squad firing, one squad maneuvering, or even as Pony had it on the south. Right on the south, he had. Um, I believe the action was about here, whatever, it was just something like here, Pony came in from the west, no, it was here, Pony came in from the west, contact was, I don't remember where this area was, whatever, it was Pony came in from the west, there's contacts like in this field, and then he had another fire team moving along the south, moving west, so, uh, he had a fire team engage, and then another fire team maneuver, and then engage him on the flank. It was beautiful. Like, that was perfect fire maneuver. Created their squads. I create mine. Get right, so, in. Oh. Here's how I want to do this. I want Evan and Axe on point. Uh, Axe. You're going to take the uh, northern location, Evan. You're going to get a run out of main, get that little thing off. All right, let's go. So let's go. Uh, okay. 
at, the, at its core, well, first off, welcome everybody squad ups, uh, to the Squad Ops One Life event, Operation Trespass. I'm your commentator for this evening, Shadowed Ritual. This is Operation, so Operation Trespass, at its core, is an attack defense op. The insurgents are attacking one of two checkpoints for the U.S., and the U.S. are reinforcing the checkpoints to try and hold off the INS. The, before uh, we go into more detail of what that operation uh, is that exactly, let's go over who's participating in this up command wise. For the US, this round we have Platoon Lead Storm with his squad leads Axe, Merrick, XF, and Evan SMA. For the insurgents, we have Platoon Lead Dwarf with his squad leads Bag of Joe, Bump, Best Pony, and Longarts. Really good squad leads on both sides. Really good commands on both sides. Um, I'd, I'd lean more towards insurgents. They've got uh, a few more. Uh, should be good. I don't want to say individual American squad leads. XF will be my reactionary forces. Uh, I, I'm drawing a blank on the word I want to use, but um, autonomous, I guess. Where I they 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 want, they, they, want, want they know what XF, to do. They I will do it. To while giving you updates on what's location. going on, rather than waiting for Platoon Lead to tell you to, to do it, location. then doing it, and then... It, it, it basically, they cut out a step, and they just work a little more efficiently. Merrick, your goal, I guess Autonomous might, might uh, be the right word. Is to lock down but, uh, attacked, let's go uh, over this operation now. That direction. So, Operation Trespass, let's go ahead and bring up Action the map. Have pretty much everything else covered. Uh, At its core... Attack defense up. The situation reads as Sorry, that was Merrick U.S. forces. U.S. and British command has had a solid hold on the core valley for months now. Recently, however, the amount of refugees moving through the valley to the east has steadily increased, and as such, command has tasked your company with manning checkpoints in the valley to check and maintain security of the refugee movements. Signs and local police have informed the refugees that after sundown, no one is allowed to move through the valley and trespassers will be shot on sight. So the insurgents, or sorry, the U.S. Are, are, uh, have two checkpoints marked with the fob markers. We are going to be taking the truck. The two checkpoints are, it's checkpoint Apple, checkpoint Banana, I'll give you the exact grid. Right Where do you want now, me? checkpoint. Uh, I know you want me. Apple is E eight six. E eight. Like, where do you want the actual six? fob? I want so the here. fob to be. Um, That's checkpoint. Apple checkpoint. Banana is F seven four. So right about here. Make a mark to get it. So here in here, there's two checkpoints right. for the U S that they need to defend. Insurgent forces situation reads um, as our leader you know, wants our group to push east the through the core valley, hiding under the guise of refugees. Yeah, we'll do. The U.S., however, have set up several checkpoints to check every refugee for I weapons and to fingerprint there, right? everyone passing through the valley. Yeah, our leader has asked for a small force of volunteers to attack a checkpoint so that by the morning, the U.S. can't so check yeah, refugees check moving through a route, and this will allow the hundreds of fighters to move freely or... through the valley. So insurgent forces sending a platoon out uh, yeah, to go a, assault uh, one of these two checkpoints. Oh, no. They uh, only need to assault one of the two. They can uh, assault both if they want, but they, need, they only need to take and hold so one of the two. Then, uh, After that, they are on defense as the U.S. have to try and retake uh, the point. Spots for your entire squad. Assets that the U.S. will have to take out their um, do I need to spawn my guys to take out or to accomplish their objectives. U.S. assets include one squad lead, one fire team lead, two automatic riflemen, and one medic per squad. Platoon Army, which the Platoon Lead can deal out as he sees fit, is two light anti-tank kits and two extra medics. Vehicles American include one MRAP open top, open top uh, and one trans top. truck, and two logistics trucks with any load. And then the each FOB gets a FOB, they get a bunker that will count as a checkpoint in the middle of the road, and then they get various defensive structures. They can run a Lodgy, other. but it must be escorted by an MRAP open top, or by the MRAP open top. Insurgent assets include one squad lead, two fire team leads, two automatic riflemen, and one medic per squad. They get two logistics trucks and four motorcycles right, if the they I need, just wait at or if they want with, to have those motorcycles. Uh, the truck uh, FOB logistics, if they can place down the FOB, or if they can get the FOB, take correct. over the FOB, they can uh, then place down, a, place down their own FOB. And make it a bomb workshop, and it can get one ammo crate and various defensive structures. So the the, the table will uh, swing 
really quickly, make sure everyone's good. Oh, if the um, insurgents right, so manage to take out one of the points, and, and we'll take a look at both these points as they um, uh, as they arrive on, and we'll follow Evan to this point. Then we'll go north to the other points. Um, just to show you how defensible south, these are, the north is definitely more defensible there, than the south. End up rotating around, facing or sorry, the south is more defensible than the north. Yep. Make just, uh, once again, and that'll be clear when we get there. Time, for now, we'll just listen in to these comms uh, from Storm. And I'll stop trying to over. I'll, so I'll stop trying to talk over them. Yeah, I mean, Evan ran right into them, so it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I know that Evan did. Come on, Evan, Patrick. Uh, my fault for sending him over there, but. Watch out for pony flanks. Um, damn, I really want to buy this game now, but I don't want to be the noob holding the squad back. Well, I mean, the only way to not be the noob holding the squad back is to be the noob holding the squad back a couple games and then get better. Just play, uh, hop into our Discord channel. Uh, hop into our Discord. Hop into the squad channel and uh, just play some vanilla squad with people. I mean, if you, if you tell people you're new and, if, you know, if I can get some help or, you know, guidance or if anybody want to squad up, people are going to want to play with you. They don't care if you're new. If you're, want, if you're willing to play the game, and you know, have fun. People are gonna wanna play so, with you, it's fine. Uh, pass on to the guys Keep up with the SL and listen to what he wants. And I started out playing medic. It's and, the easiest uh, thing to not get wrong in the game. Is be medic, so stay with the squad lead, five, get five people up. It doesn't matter how many kills you get because that's not your job. It's about reviving people. And it's a good way to get a good like game sense, really you know, uh, learning the maps, having your map up constantly, things like that. Medic is the way to go for new people, in my I'm opinion. And well, 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 I guess it's not as important because now that everybody can revive people, but reviving people is super important to get into the habit of as a new person. Evan's reaching his checkpoint, it looks like. Wow, no, he's not even close. Hurry up, Evan. I knew he had to hit last time, that's for certain. Mm. Is this game run heavy? Speedy. This we'll is very, right. a very CPU intense game. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, it's a very man. CPU intense game. I, I run it okay, about 60, 70 frames for the most part. Uh, some maps I get 100, some maps I get 60. Uh, it generally doesn't fall below that. Well, look at me falling below 52 now by streaming. It's but price, uh, right? like vanilla games, yeah. I don't have any problems playing. And yeah. I have an i5 and a 1070. So you understand. Very CPU that, intense game, but I have everything at max settings also, fault. I believe. Everything at epic except view distance. We did fine. Yeah, we just got, yeah, we got caught up there. Yeah, we did fine. Just, they were just this is sort of unexpected. Mission. Yeah. Then we couldn't see shit. As soon as we crossed that wall to the east, it just fucking unloaded on us. <laughs> yeah. I think it's uh, myself and... Who was it? Um, me. Gnome, that's right. Yeah, me and Gnome. Yeah, we both got fucked up. I was in the first camp, person to die. Uh, you may have been here than I was second. Oh yeah, you have no problems, Casey. Casey J. The rest of us died like three fragments. Casey Cage. Casey Cage. Yeah, y'all had one good fragment. I highly recommend it. I got seventeen hundred hours in the game. I thought I had more. Seventeen hundred and fifty-eight hours into the game, and it's not even out yet. Probably gonna continue to put more and more time into it. I admit most of my time recently has just been, you know, commentating squad ops, participating in squad ops, doing squad ops stuff. But I get my play of it. I when it comes to vanilla games, I've been playing a lot of postscriptum actually. But uh, I still like these styles of games. Still a lot of fun. I'm definitely gonna get my money's worth out of this. I definitely have gotten my money's worth out of it. Evan is at his checkpoint. So this is the checkpoint location. We'll see exactly where he puts his uh the fob down. All right, and it's very defensible. to where we should place our fob. A lot of I good buildings here, here to hold right. out, and um, looks like he's gonna try and hold like it's a nice defensible here. Location. Yeah. Four. All right, here we go. He can push out a couple see, planks. This is yeah. pretty good. I like is this the spot. You want the fob uh, while on the north, you'll see. In this corner here. If you have CMX, the north is actually probably more defensible, in my opinion. But like, uh, it's yeah, a field. Good. This is the field they they held. They had a bunch of sandbags in here, which made it pretty easy to hold. And then they had uh, a bunch of sandbags on like the right side of here, which made it pretty easy to hold. But if, there, if you didn't have any other sandbags, like this is not a, a easily defensible location, in my opinion. But the U.S. managed to hold it easily last time. So we'll see. We shall see. 
you find a good group to play with, it's loads more fun. I 100% agree, Skelly. Check us out, squad up to GG. Play with us on our Discord, we're playing all the time. But there are other groups too, There's uh, depending on your time zone. I know there's some EU groups, there might be an AU group still. Um, there's some EU groups to play, there's competitive groups to play, like... You can definitely find right, somebody who wants to play the way you want to play. And uh, you can find a server who will accommodate yeah, you and fine. all that. Uh, Are you the good for a 145 lifetime? I have a 1016 uh, yeah. i5 and I play mix. Yep, so yeah, I like to. It's, it, it really comes down to the... the, 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 the out and, um, keep not them fire away. team lead. Um, <laughs> uh, it really comes down to the C CPU. If you have a, a, at least a pretty good CPU, wanna, it's fine. And then the 1060 and i5, that's, that's still pretty solid. Like, that's not a low tier of just stuff in my opinion. Around the point, uh, but spread out, so you're not going to get naded with one nade. I'm fine with that, too. And these guys spread out, live time uh, 145, so live time about six minutes. These guys are allowed to build before live, so this is what the checkpoint looks like. Just remember to keep three Making sure security. refugees done. Yeah, check in, move through, whatever, yada yada. And just gonna hold here. You guys uh, in squad ups think about PvP with other communities or clans? We do do scrimmages every once in a while. We have a, a, a representation manager. He does like uh, you know um, Sunday night squad, tactical Tuesday. I don't know if there's many others. We do we've done scrimmages with other um, actual clans, but we're generally not very good at them. We're really bad at vanilla gameplay compared to some of the actual like really good competitive groups. Like there are some groups that are out there that are like, they got it down to a science, and they they're just monsters with it. We're on the other hand, we're about the experience for us, and when it comes to competitive, we we lose more often than we win. Waiting to get started on live, slide it about five minutes. Okay, Let's go check out I want... INS posturing. So the INS can start anywhere west of the CD line. And where they start will give us a good idea of where they want to assault. And I lied. This gives me no idea of where they want to assault because it's in the middle. They're, well, they're sort of posturing towards the north and a squad towards the south. No, it looks like two squads on the south, two squads on the north. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. We've got squads three, four on the south, squads two and one on the north. Squad two is actually starting to position the south. They may go in for a southern push live. Oh, not live yet. Live in four minutes. They're just moving down the CD line to get into it. To, to come in from a better angle. Yeah, they're going to try for their southern push. Changing it up. Last time INS went for the north. Now INS is going to go for the south. I like that. I like uh, commands who, who do that. Make sure it's different for the stream, different for the people playing overall. Good. You guys have problems with not perfect English? No, we don't have any problems with that. As long as we can understand you, basically, like it's fine. Nobody really cares one way or the other. We'll see how they can build this point. It's like on they, this they really they hard you know what here. I mean? Two unnecessary sandbags here because I don't think it's a good idea to be here. Going um, um horizontal. Oh, other sorry. sandbags in the area doesn't look like he's thrown that's down that's too much. They haven't thrown down any at all. What are they doing? Are they gonna build defenses? Looks like Bundy and Gnome Scene are gonna be the guys on flank security. Yeah. No. Alright. One second. Yeah. Remember Charlie. Close all my windows so I can see. Put on Charlie, iPad just push adaptation. south of fob radius and tell me if you want to sandbags over there. Start scouting out positions. Put your gun away. Hey, Evan, I get two spots. One right here. I don't like this. And then one more at the back of the truck over here. Move the truck oh, back a little. Big difference. Uh, I turn off like all to... the lights. Close the turn on the blinds. You know. Have you got all oh, adapt adaptation on as well? <laughs> Can you put one on right, the yeah. outside of the truck, right past the? Turn wheel? it on. You will be amazed. Angled like this. Uh, just oh, have it on. Uh, in line with the truck is fine. We're angled. Oh, okay. one. So live in about four minutes. Just watching these guys get set up. Sort of set up their positions. I don't um, like their positioning too much, but I can, I, I can up, sort of uh, see what they're doing. They're trying to make the transport a, a part of the want. defense. But the thing was, you, if you're Something. going prone, you can shoot under this, which well, I might actually. Um, yeah, but I don't, does. I don't yeah, like it. Like, there's, there's uh, a building sure. back here. Put them in here. 
Build an OP off of this. Pull it from range. Do what the south is doing right, and hold this AI. field with a shit ton uh, of sandbags. Doge. This just where do seems you, Do you have an idea of where you want to set up? In my opinion. You can't see too far to the north. You, you can can't see too far to the- I guess you can see okay to the, the west. west or... The west or so approach, you can definitely see okay. But you I'm can't see anything that comes to flank through this field from the southwest. Okay, you gotta you have somebody in the field to watch the flank. Oh, you can't true. really see too far to the north. You got a lot of tree covers and there's a river there. It's just awkward. A sandbag? So your only really good yeah. direction is this this direction on the west. And so this is too much to put to hold system. one direction. Hello. This is my sandbag. I got one more request when you get a second. Yeah, like this one's mine. We'll Should see we put though. some of the ammo back truck so we can This guy's gonna be destroyed. No, yeah, we'll see. We we'll see. They've got how many build points they have left? Do they have left? They got, uh, they have 1,500 build points left. That's plenty. They're, they're fine. A couple of extra sandbags aren't going to be too bad. I'm just being nitpicky because that's my job. Oh, did you date, to talk you know? shit. That is the yeah. commentator's job, right? I always assume that's the commentator's job. Just to talk just the most mad amount of shit ever. Again, they're doing like a very like harden up on the point with the sandbags thing. What are you doing? I don't know. We'll see if this works okay. out. It just seems like two unnecessary sandbags. Here. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's like staggered. It's not a solid line. So it, it forces them to like maneuver around and move into like funnels. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then this, this is awkward. This seems like an unnecessary amount of sandbags. And not a lot of grenade sandbags, which I think was what made it useful last time. They had a bunch of grenade sandbags in this area here. Alright everyone, let's stop. Let's get our game phases on. We got a minute till live. Yeah. I'd like to see a little more difference in here. How many build points do these have? 1,400 for those guys in the so, north. Which one? 125 left. They have nothing left, basically, to put down. Um, Do I, I, I put those the, down here. The window thing. Just grenade sand. Oh, yeah. What you need. Builder bobs, right? Whatever. Oh, it just puts them on one front, and though. You can just use on one static line. I don't like it. I, I'd like to be able to maneuver. Pull back. Push forward if you need to. Pull back if you need to. Have a couple little, um, OP bunkers, like sandbag bunker looking things with, like, you know, two sandbags live at 145. So live in about 25 seconds. Um, it just seems like these are in line to get blown up together, but we'll see. I mean, I talking shit because I can. We'll see if it uh, pays off for them. They're probably not even gonna come into contact because of the way Dwarf is posturing. It's definitely gonna be for a southern push. We'll see in about nine seconds as they get ready to move. Let's follow. I'm already moving towards the insurgents. We'll follow the insurgents on the way out. And we are live. There's movement off the back, or right off the bat, moving east in the insurgent blob formation, as one can see. Definitely the insurgent blob. Looks like it'll morph into a line here soon, or it's attempting to form into a line. Staggered columns, maybe? I'm not sure. No formation here. There it is, moving east, and they've got one squadron. So, similar attack to what happened last round. But instead of one squad on the south, three squads on the north, it is one squad on the north, three squads on the south. Not opting for any vehicles. And it looks like it changed into a pseudo staggered columns column kind of thing. For now, they're just they're just worried about getting there. Guy never goes to war and just talks. Yes, if you have the supplies for it.
I don't have seen their movement. Let's go see. This is flank security of Bundy and Gnome we Sam. We can't get up this hill because it's on the edge of the map. Yeah, but at least we they should be able to pretty, we should they, be pretty they're covered so the full back They are now to. within, a, you know, 100 meters, it looks like? No. Yeah. Right about 100 meters of contact. They're pulling back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hope the INS will stay. Uh, I hope INS Squad One will stay away from the fight for a while so they can flank like get. Yeah, see that's two different ways to play. There's the draw attention, flank, and then push in hard on another on another area, or the sneaky flank where they push in hard in one area with the three squads, and then sneak a squad in. We spot guys south. Or the, what? That, how far? That's how far? that's the that's the style you're thinking, Skelly, where the, you 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 hard engage with these three squads the and then you sneak squad one in. What what Merrick's objective was last round was to engage with one squad, draw forces to them, and then hard push with three. Bundy spotted these guys. Nothing's been said over command comms yet. Good frag. Good frag. He's gonna destroy. Oh, it takes out one, hurts uh, hurts another. Oh, I thought it would have done more. But it hurts hurts two, three maybe? No, I'm seeing it. Bundy gonna push back. They're getting flanked by Bybee though. Oh my god, they're they're just in an awkward position. This hasn't been said over co command comms though. Somebody's gotta talk. Somebody's gotta say something. Contact. We got contact southwest and west. There you go. They lost two though. Uh, one for the US, two for the insurgents. Insurgents are pushing so hard. Look at them. Look at them swarm this Baron point. Field directly west. They're close. Holy Maybe shit, yeah. Looks like a yeah, Kamikad squad. Point. Now, this is Laundard squad going to push in from the north. Um, no. Best Pony squad pushing in direct west already on top of them. The rest uh, of them going to push in from the south, uh, being held up by the two. This, is this aggressive shit. movement by the US or the INS. They're just trying to overwhelm these forces. And I'm not hearing the comms that I'd like. There's just not as much information coming out from S Evan as, as really I think close. should be. An SMA, about a full, about full platoon help. west, uh, copy, yeah. 50 meters. Right or so. at this so point, just watch over one squad west, 50 meters in the field. You can give some information that uh, Storm can work with. Under hand grenade, not going to do hey, much, I don't think. There's one right here. You take your MRAP and move it around to the, uh, to a lot, the a lot of frags go out. They took out we'll one. Evan right SMA takes one, two, but he's just got a bandage. Lawson takes one. Silent takes one. They just got a bandage. Silent takes another. Oh, these frag grenades. Brutal monk eye and uh, HML coming into contact on the south, but they've been overwhelmed. Yeah. They have just been decimated. Pony pushing into. So this squad on the north, Londard squad, is preventing anybody from pushing south. This is their objective. They're not pushing into assault the point because they don't need to assault the point. They are preventing anybody from pushing from the northern checkpoint south. U.S. forces anywhere. Anywhere. Any U.S. forces. Squad two's on the south. Got to push west. Squad. Command, it's got another fragging, gotta push what? Command's in an awkward position here. Silas gonna try and take out Silas takes out Senpai. Eric, I need you on route right now. Looks I'm like coming. HML has spotted uh, some guys. They're gonna try and dig down this fob. Tight ass roads. Backup is coming. Yeah. Backup is coming. Is is, is it fast Negative. enough? Oh, it's almost done. They need I to need toss to some frags. It's almost to dead. To Monkai goes down. They gotta dig. They gotta dig. It's almost down. Just finish it. Do you my guys to mount and retake the fob? Yep. Right now. The insurgents in a very powerful position here. I'm gonna zoom out, get to a nice little overhead view, as they've got a commanding presence here on the actual point. Down. I count. Storm's gonna go down. How how did Storm get up here so quickly? And he's gonna go down. Oh, right What's off our the bat. Structure? This is a command. If I right go here. down, Evans in charge. Uh, no. Uh, if I go down, it's squad order. 
squad order, so XF, It looks like Merit. my Bravo team is already taking fire heading south. They're close to this compound. They're gonna try and dig. They just south. overwhelmed here. Yeah. They just, oh, and they've been engaged. The and they're gonna jump out as they've been engaged. MG's gonna try and uh, open up. Takes out one, takes out I'm two. Fire, keep up the fire. You gotta keep up the fire, but you gotta you gotta talk your gun. If that makes sense. It's smaller burst. Smaller burst is actually. Gunner's dead. Don't get in it, Mary. Don't get in it. We're taking a crazy amount of fire here. Dean goes down, sled V's hurt, liberal pundits hurt. Merrick, don't get in that gun. You're just gonna sit there, I think. Yep, Give information. Storm. Takes out Pony, it looks like. No, it does take out Pony, but it's being flanked by Pony. Man's gonna go down here. Man goes down. Oh, the U.S. is getting run over by the insurgents as their aggressive push is just too much for them. 7 for the uh, U.S., 13 for the insurgents. A really close game still. My gunner got shot at. Do you, the, these northern, this northern element just needs to push south at this point, though. Where did those guys in the north go? That was squad one, I guess. Yeah, you're right, yeah. Squad one. You're just gonna hold and then they're command gonna command structure. We got command up. That was brutal, yeah. This is down. pretty pretty down. brutal. It's between you and, and I. And one doesn't even need to do anything. They just need to continue to watch this river. Right, Steve so just sets really up his MG here and looks east. To orchard right now. He's in a perfect to position. To the, uh, the previous position. Best, uh, Alex goes down, best pony hits, sled V goes down from best pony. HML, XF, synchronized, and good content. Pushing into best penalty position. Frag out. I don't think it's going to go far enough. Just not far enough. Can I And it really came down to comms. If you if you hear the difference in uh, in communications from this round compared to last round, it, it's it's almost night and day. I, I feel there's just so much more information that was that was given for the first round. Um, people were able to, to utilize more accurate information to, to sort of adapt and, and and figure out their plans. Here, I, I feel it's it's been we'll listen, listen for, for a little bit. North of the MRAP, and I've got two to three guys west of the roadblock. As soon as anybody gets on the gun, they get popped. Yeah, I just... It's not... I mean, that was pretty solid information, but for the most part, the, the information hasn't been there for the U.S. man-wise. Lil well, Tuck, you gun haven't heard that one before? I always call it burping. Yeah, we always... Uh, I was taught in our SOT team basic course talking, so that's what I was taught. Um, it was created by somebody who's in the military. That's somebody taking shots, or trading shots to synchronize. Can't, doesn't manage to, to, to take him out. Get contact. Frag out. Get contact. Gonna go down. Frag. Too far, I think. I didn't even see it go off. Must have gone like insanely far. Yeah. Look at this position. The insurgents are in. Oh, and they spotted these guys on the east. Oh, this. Great positioning from the uh, insurgents. Eight for the U.S., seventeen for the insurgents. They're they're just struggling. I advise two is too effective. We're all that left. We're just holding in order. I've got this pony dead right now, literally under my tires. I'm just driving over again and again. Merrick is just running over Best Pony. <laughs> oh, you're the worst, Merrick. <laughs> if I get out, I'm gonna die. Enemy contact pushing into Orchard. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the actual worst. What is Merrick's options here? He's got to hook up with somebody, but who? All right, he's getting out. He's he's moving to hook up with a uh, hero. Oh, 
He just sat there running them over for a couple minutes, and then now he's hooking up with the rest of the platoon. Let's get a count on U.S. numbers. They're, they're not in a terrible... They're, they're in a bad spot. No, they're, they're not winning. But they're not in as bad a spot as the INS were last round. So let's figure this out. One, two... About 13 U.S. versus... Twenty-three INS, so about ten more. They got a about a squad's advantage on them. To exactly where is the checkpoint that we have to retake? Checkpoints at Lodgy Truck at Fox Eight Five. Fox Stay eight, off four, the gun. Fox Stay off the gun. You're gonna get sniped. He's just using the is a mobile cover. It's not a bad idea. If you get on the gun, you're gonna get sniped. But I can use, you can use this cover. Get on it. What? So Axe is in position now. Get spotted. Trading fire with Pipe Funk and Best Pony. Axe, they're up ahead. West, direct west. Tuck nades, they're close. They're really close. Dentrick's seen in nade range, which they are. 3-0-0. Zero, zero. Dentrick's... Or sorry, Axe is taking shots at Pony. Misses. No, he takes that Pony. Pipe Punk goes Nate down out. as well. Okay, I'm not, I'll stay here then. This is their chance here. They need to keep up the aggression. Axe needs to keep going, and Merrick and these guys need to mount up. And, uh, well, okay, maybe not mount up, but they need to keep up their, their push too. I like the idea, though. I like the idea Merrick has, has here. They got Kynes and Ravine at Echo 9. Axe is pushing five people. God, Axe, Axe, what are you doing? Axe, turn around. He's spotted. It's Wayne Newton who sees him. Axe did. He was looking the wrong direction the entire time. He took shots at Freedom Fighter and uh, Orange. It looks like. That would have been brutal though if he had he'd come over here and just full auto right here. Come on, man. Rip axe, right? Oh, so close. So, here 10 for the US, 18 for the insurgents. I'm about eight. We'll see what they can do. There's a flank going on from the US. This could be what does it for them. They've got. It's Revy, Dark Milkshake, and We Are Airborne. Moving in some direction. Somewhere, we'll see if they end up making it back to the point. Let's check out who's alive command structure-wise. For, uh, for the US, they don't have their squad lead or the command anymore. Fire team lead. They've got a squad lead here, and they've they've got one original squad lead who's in charge, uh, which is Merrick. For the insurgents, they've got their original command, original squad lead, original squad lead, fire team lead, and original squad lead. That's about a wipe squad though. So they're, they're looking pretty good command structure wise. The insurgents are, but they've got some people here who can who can take charge and and be a leader. There's got to be somebody here for the U.S. Yeah, they got Hero, Dentric, Merrick. Hold. Jamel, yeah, there's people here who can take charge, I think, Ooh, hopefully. Fire in there, it looks like. Let's go, Insurgents. Insurgents may win this. The Insurgents are in a good position to win this. But uh, we are more Dark Metal Shake and Revy may have something to say about this. This could this could be uh, interesting. And CPS. I missed CPS last time. There's four in this flank. Yeah, sure. There's a field straight in front of us. Which, uh, straight to our northeast. Uh, zero, three, zero. That's who he sees. I don't see him. Do you have a shot? I did, but he's moving to the to the north. We should probably head through the field. We could probably hit him pretty hard. Okay, let's do it. Let's head to the field on the left. Nacho goes down. The guy they were, the guy, these guys have spotted, Nacho. Down. Have another buddy come with me. Alright, milkshake here. Alright, let's go. As soon as we cut north on this See flank. if this flank works out or not. <clears throat> this is a, there's an opportunity here. 
I think it's to the point now where uh, Laundrits needs to push his squad south. They need to reinforce these guys on the south. They have a good fire team here, or they have a good squad uh, hold here. So leave a fire team and push a fire team south. I think is the is the the call I would make. Because right now there's like like Stig, Efank, Omar, and Groot. They're not they're not doing much. Obviously they they are still worried about their north. But that's at the point now where I would worry less. We're we're nearing the the the, the mid to end game of this. As two frags go out, Bybee's hurt. He may not bandage in time. Yeah, he bleeds out. Claws paint does bandage in time. He's fine. I think I got shot. Oh, MG come down from the. That was actually some good MG fire there. Rough op axe. Yeah, rough op indeed. The US are in, in a good position here to flank, and it this this may work out for them as good content HML pushing south into baggage of those guys. They just gotta outshoot them now. They're in, they're in a powerful position here. They just now they now they just need to outshoot. Takes out baggage Joe. for the US, 20 for the insurgents, US crawling back. Yeah, now Londarts needs to push his guys south, he needs to reinforce these guys on the point. You might be down. The, the, I'm gonna reload. Did the Vic explode and kill the trap? I'm not sure. It looked like it, doesn't it? Dark Milk Trick, we are everyone pushing into Wayne Newton. Wayne Newton's gonna go down here as he's already bleeding. Barthok Warrior is gonna have to be a savior. Takes out Wayne Newton, but uh, Barthok Warrior takes out two where everyone in uh, Dark Milk Trick. Good content, giving us that good content, right? He's looking the wrong way. It's not going to be so good for him now as soon as uh, Seer Chest just looks around the corner. Actually, no. Oh, He's not. Good. Nobody's looking good content. He's going to sneak up on these guys. Takes out Seer Cheese. Takes out Dwarf. Two down over here. Doesn't see the rest of these guys on the right. Goes down. That's command down, though. Suddenly, US. Oh my god, Bakbu just mows down. Cat plays bumping uh, Claw's point. Brutal. U.S. now in, now in command now. 22 for the U.S., 23 for the insurgents. Almost completely tied game, actually. U.S. clawing it back. Clawing it back. They're trying their best. And, uh... You know the he pushed the fire team off finally. It's too late, in my opinion. He tried to push them north, east, and south. He should have pushed them just east and south, in my opinion. Karma Kid going to try and push directly back onto the point. Sure, it was where the logic was. Yeah, the radio is right around here, guys. Alright, they're across the river northwest. Fuck, we goes down to a grenade. <clears throat> what a comeback. Right, brother? What a comeback. Good contact goes down. Yeah, good contact has been down. So, ac actual numbers? I see. I feel like we cleared them out of this area. They're just across the river. Eight. U.S. versus... Ten insurgents, but the insurgents have four guys on a flanking mission right now, so it's eight versus like six right now. Yeah, it's 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 eight versus six until these four get in the fight. Yeah, I got a name. I got a name. I'm checking it. See what those Come over here. Nate out. Why are you throwing nades over there? Okay, where? Sentry, get over here. You have a rifleman kit? He's asking for nades, and Sentry just to is tossing his nades without, well, like, anything. Yeah, what did you say? Alright, rearm, get a grenade, pop it over the north wall. They're just tossing grenades, oh, yeah. hoping he hits something. Try underhander. They're being reported in the river. It's being reported that there's under, guys underhand in the river. Underhanded part. Alright. Copy. That's good. He's just basically right, being a little, yeah. Start over He's being here. eyes. Being indestructible eyes in this MRAP. And it's working out for him. In front of the lodgy crossing towards the, he's heading towards the front. As far as I can tell, we've retaken so the side. So so. Yeah, or one of them just pulled back across the river from the lodgy. They gotta watch their north. Right, so we officially or east. These so guys are here. Sentry did clip one, but it wasn't like. I would advise. 
a random grenade that accidentally hits doesn't make it suddenly a good grenade. It's still just a random grenade. Like, listen, you should just listen to where his SL is trying to get him to guide. Like, the SL wants to guide fire in. Go to the SL, let him guide your fire in. So, flank on the east. HML's flanking the guys on the west. It's, it's going to be about timing. Can HML push into Far Attack Warrior here? Guys, right on me, right on me. He hears him. Nice shot. One down. He's on one of the islands in the middle of the river, north of the Amrata. Yeah, contact's still there. They spotted him. They spotted these guys in the west. Grenade? <laughs> Takes out hero. Good grenade. Sentry versus four. Sentry chaplain versus four. He thinks really hurt. He think bleeds out. Epic smiley goes down to a grenade, it looks like. Oh no. It's chaplain sentry versus three over here. It's HML Revy CPS versus four over here. Merrick. Neil's goes down, looks like. Merrick's just trying to cover people, looks like. He's just mobile cover. That's how, how he's playing that. I like it. I like it a lot. Sentry's trying to take shots, trade shots with Groot. Listen to that. It's a FAL. Sounds brutal, doesn't it? Sentry takes out Groot. Chaplin goes down to a grenade. It's Stig versus... Stig and Omar versus Sentry. Merrick, Revy, CPS, HML versus Uzi, Londards, and Cobra. Where the contact is going to be for now. They're pushing him. Takes out Omar. Sentry take out Stig. One guy under the bridge needs a lodgy. I like this. He's going to take Sentry out in the back. He doesn't even know. This is such a sneaky spot. There he goes. Good little maneuvering by Stig there. 3D game. Um, leaving Stig, Londarts, Cobra, Uzi versus... Like it? Merrick, CPS, HML, and Revy. Four on four. Four on three as the Revy goes down. Straight, straight east, straight east. Loading the 50 kill. Frag out onto HML. Not far enough. Need to build in the air? Yeah, they explode in the air. If you throw them straight up, they explode in the air. When Uzi and I are on the same squad, it gets quite confusing. <laughs> How far out is he? Um, close. Maybe three like... on three. I can't keep the names up for too long just because it gets really cluttered with all everybody in admin cam. What a push. What a brutal fight this has been. He's in this, yeah, one shot uh, can die. Anybody stand out? 29 versus 29. Any standouts? Just yeah, HMO, awesome. good content. A lot of good work. Bakbu, really good work. Muscles, Verts, Bartok Warrior, Uzi. See? Somebody's got to move. Who's on the defense? Oh, like it's it's gone back and forth. The U.S. had the hand. I think I see movement. Now I think Freddy, technically zero, eight, nine, they have the upper hand, sure. or the 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 insurgents, because they're where the checkpoint was, I mean, just... and so they've got to defend here. Yeah. Much closer than expected. Very nice. Yeah, I I agree. So nice. Yeah. In the riverbed. I like it when it comes out to a grind like this, where it's like it, it comes down to like just like shoot him when key the right. moments. Yes. He's just gonna run him over. Oh no, he's gonna try and get them to look north. Oh my god, he's gonna get them to look north, and then it's CPS and HMO are gonna push in. They're not gonna fall for it. I like this idea. This is this is cheeky. HMO 
Hmo pushed up on the flank. Contact in this riverbed. Oh this my god, HMO is just gonna mow these guys down. MG keeps their heads down. HMO just it's a field day as he takes out Uzi Stig Got and three down, uh, last three down, one. Okay. That's it for the insurgents. Yeah, it was looking rough for them. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. It was looking so hey, rough for the U.S. Go. at the beginning. They got overrun. They, <laughs> the the insurgents had the position. Nice. They had to take it back. It was such a slog. The MRAP was just MRAP. I don't know what the MRAP. <laughs> Merck just drove for all of that AR, match, man. and it Kurt worked out. He was just mobile eyes, keeping them updated, given the comms that were necessary. Early on, they fell apart because the communication was bad. In my opinion, the communication just wasn't what it needed to be. But it slowly started to pick up when, you know, there's less people, less information that is necessary to be given out. It slowly started picking up, and the U.S. slowly started to crawl their way back. But great job. U.S. take it away both times. If you're interested in participating in these streams, check us out. Squadups.gg. Uh, you just have to sign up, take our basic training course. After you take our basic training course, only about 45 minutes to an hour long, you can then participate in any and all of our Squad Ops events. Uh, if you want to give us a follow, twitch.tv forward slash squad ops, we would really appreciate it if you enjoy the content. We also upload it onto youtube.com forward slash squad ops. I was a commentator for this evening, Shadowed Ritual. And uh, we uh, thank you, everybody, who for, for participating in these events. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We will have another event in about three-ish hours. Check us out, squadops.gg. On the website, it is in your local time. Um, and, and until then, we will catch you next time.